Hello everyone. In this problem, we have to find the value of I1 by I2 in the given figure if for A part R is 0 0.1 ohm and for B part R is 1 ohm and C part R is 10 ohm. So let's find out the solution. So there are basically two figures. In the first scenario, the cells are connected in series and in the second scenario, the cells are connected in parallel. So for the first part, the EMF, the total EMF is going to be E1 plus E2, whereas in the second part, the parallel voltage remains same. So in this particular case, the voltage remains 6 volt only for the first part and figure 1, the net voltage is going to be 12 volt, whereas for figure 2, the net voltage is going to be 6 volt. The internal resistance 1 ohm, 1 ohm and 0 0.1 ohm resistor will be acted in series. So that means R equivalent is going to be 2.1 ohm. Whereas in for the figure number 2, this 1 and 1 ohm resistor are connected in parallel. The resistance R will be acted in series, right? So R equivalent for the figure number 2 is going to be 0 0.5 plus 0 0.1 that means 0 0.6 ohm right so for the first figure i1 is going to be voltage upon resistance and for i2 it is going to be 6 upon 0 0.6 this will become 40 by 7 and this will become 10 so we have to find this ratio of i1 by i2 so this will become 40 by 7 upon 10 so that means 0.57 so this is the solution for first part now for the second part b now the r is coming as 1 right so again the voltage for figure 1 is 12 volt and for figure 2 the voltage will be 6 volt the equivalent resistance in this case is going to be 1 plus 1 plus 1 which is 3 ohm whereas the equivalent resistance in this particular part so now the r is 1 and these 1 and 1 ohm resistance are in parallel that means it is going to be 1.5 ohm again the i1 value is 12 by 3 that means 4 and i2 value is going to be 6 upon 1.5 that means 4 so ratio of i1 by i2 is going to be 4 by 4 or 1 so this is the solution for second part now for the part c now the value of r is going to be 10 ohm right so again for figure 1 and for figure 2 the voltage is 12 volt and here the voltage is 6 volt the equivalent resistance is going to be 10 plus 1 plus 1 that means 12 ohm and here it is going to be 10 plus 0 0.5 that means 10.5 so the I1 value is going to be 12 by 12 that is 1 and here I2 is going to be 6 upon 10.5 that means 60 upon 105. Now we have to calculate the ratio of I1 by I2. So that means it is going to be 105 divided by 60 or 1.75. So this is the solution for the third part.